Webhead still trying to put together that pull list? Well, never fear, I'm here to help you buy those comics. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I'm here to remind you to buy those comics. That's right, new comic book day is right around the corner. I'm here to give you a rundown of all the comic books that are getting ready to come out for this particular comic book week, which is May 26. So before we get into it, guys why don't you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any content from me and of course guys comment down below if you want to be entered in my road to 10k x-men giveaway so you can possibly win these x-men prizes all right guys so let's get started here kicking it off with Valiant Comics, and this is Shadow Man Issue 2. This is written by Colin Bunn. This is $4 price point. Colin Bunn is a great horror writer, and I did hear that this first issue was actually pretty good. So here we have your main cover. Here is your cover B. Pretty nice as he's fighting some dinosaur creature. Here is your cover C, which I like this close-up of Shadow Man. And then here is your cover F, which is a 1 in 100, which looks really well also. Now, a lot of people have been asking me lately, Mike, what app do you use or website do you go on to do this? And this is actually done by LeagueofComicGeeks.com, or you can download the app. It's absolutely for free, and you can put together a pull list and all kinds of great stuff like that. All right, so let's move on to our next publisher. All right, guys, next we're moving on to Antarctic Press. This is Death by Life issue four. Check out this cover here. It looks pretty intense. Never read this series. I don't even know if I actually heard it. It's $4, but I just want to recognize some of the publishers out there, the smaller ones, um, you know, that have comics that might interest you. The next one is Exciting Comics. This is issue 12. This is also a $4 price point. Then we have Gold Digger, issue 286. This book has been around for quite a while based off of its numbering. Looks like it definitely has a fan base. Next we have Horror Comics. This is issue 6. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's insane. And then next we have Ninja High School. This is issue 181. I don't know if I want to go to that high school, let me tell you. Alright, and then we have Out of Body Experience. This is issue 2. And that could be an interesting book as well, $4. And then we have Patriotica United Issue 1. Yeah, she's looking very patriotic, let me just tell you right there. All right, and there are your books from Antarctic Press. Comic fans, next we're moving on to Zenoscope Entertainment. This one is Bell Sirens. This is issue one. I used to be a huge fan of Zenoscope, but not as of late. I haven't been into their stories. I love the original volume of Grim Fairy Tales and Robin Hood, but as of late, it just doesn't you know, hit the mark for me. There's just a lot of other books to read, but they, they do have some beautiful covers. This one is $6. And if you're looking for a variant for this one, we have, well, not that one. So let's see if it pops up again. Yes, and we have this one right here, which is some crazy sea monster popping out of the ocean, <laughs> which is intense. And then, let's see, we have Grim Fairy Tales issue 49. Since it's not showing the main cover, it won't pop up the variants first, which is weird, I don't get it. But if you're interested in this, we got Man, Goat, and the Bunny Man, issue two. That could be interesting. That's a $6 book for 32 pages. I don't know, it seems a little pricey to me. And then you have a variant cover for that one. So we can check out this one. So like I said, that's what their covers look like at times. Creepy looking bunny looking over a hot chick. So yeah, that's 
what's going on there. <laughs> And then you have the Neverland Annual Issue 1 getting ready to be released as well. This one is $8. And that's all the Xenoscope books that are being released for May 26th. Heading on over to IDW, we have Marvel Action Captain Marvel Issue 3. Once again, these are kind of the kids' lines uh, when it comes to their comic books over here i like this cover as we have captain marvel stuck in an arcade machine that's pretty cool that's a four dollar comic uh it does have a variant if you're interested in it and here is this one here so this is captain marvel kind of flying in space so that's pretty cool that's a one in ten incentive cover all right so next we have my Little Pony and the Transformers, the magic of Cybertron issue two. This is hilarious. I don't know how they put these two properties together. This is something completely different. Check out that cover with Starscream and the magical ponies on his shoulder and flying by his side. This is a $4 comic book. And it does have two variants, but unfortunately the images are not there to be viewed. Next we have Star Wars Weapon of a Jedi. Um, so I'm assuming that maybe this is more of a, for a younger audience as well, since Marvel does have the property of Star Wars and you know, they seem to give IDW like younger versions of these, uh, of these characters and of these books. So there's that book out there for you as well in case you're interested. And then we have the big one here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, Issue 3. You guys are not going to want to miss this book. Uh, let me just tell you, the first two issues are phenomenal. It is a little pricey at the $9 price point, but it is so good, and it has a ton of variants. So let's see what we can see here. So we have your 1 in, uh, uh, one in 10 incentive variant. So that one is pretty cool. And then we have your... Alan Qua variant. Sorry for the bar getting in the way. It's the app for you. That looks cool with Leonardo on there. And then we have the David Sanchez variant. Oh yeah, look at him. Look how big he looks, man. He's buff, right? And then we have Gabriel Delato variant, which is this one. It's really nice. That's cool. Love the logo on there. And then we have the variant B where it doesn't have the logo, so you just get the portrait. And then let's see, we have the Miko Sawan variant. That is really good. I love the detail on the face there. And all his face is all cracked up. Looks so good. And then we have the Sajad variant. This one's pretty cool too. He's got a foot soldier in his in his clutches there and he's gonna kill him. And then it looks like we have the like I don't know what this one is. The scan screw I couldn't even say that name. But that's pretty cool as he's he's battling the foot clan right there. And then we have the Stan Yank <laughs> Yak variant A. There's so many variants and I can't say these artists' name and I apologize. And then we have another one. Another black and white. And then we have the Tessa Rose variant. Oh, that looks a little creepy <laughs> with the black and white. And then you have the Tyler Kirkham variant, which he always does fantastic covers. And there are all your books and covers for IDW. So now we're at Boom Studio. It's one of the hottest publishers going right now. And the first book we're gonna be talking about here is Abbott, 1973. This is issue five. This one's written by Saladin Ahmed, who writes Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Uh, again, I have never heard of this particular book, but it's there if you wanna check it out. It's that $4 price point, everybody. It does have three variants. So let's check out your cover B. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like the logo on the top. It's like steaming from her hair. And then let's see, we have a cover C, one in 25. And then we have a cover D, which is not available. But fans of Dune might be excited for this. This is House of Atreides, issue seven. Oh, that's a nice looking cover there. This is a $5 comic book. 
And Kevin J. Anderson is the writer here. It does have three variants. We got one to show though. And this one has this cover right here. That's a nice cover. Dude looks like he's in the water and it's got some big fish. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never been a fan of Dune. I know there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy uh, the property. Next we have Firefly issue 20. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not showing up because of the cover B. So Firefly issue 29, that's coming out. There's many different covers on there. And then we have Something is Killing the Children, issue number 16, that's getting ready to come out. And unfortunately, it's not giving me the main cover, so what's going to happen is it's not going to pull up the variants because the main cover's gotta be in there. It's like a glitch in this app. Uh, but this is going to be the big one, guys, for Erica Slaughter. This is her origin story. When we get to see as I scroll down, and I know it's kind of tiny, um, but we get to see all the many different variant covers that are coming out. And this is kind of Boom's big book of the week. That's why we're most of these books that were that are on this list is all something of the something is killing the children variant covers i mean there's got to be at least 50 different variants when it comes to this will you guys pick up any of these variant covers how much are they going to be i don't know we'll see what happens all right and so next we do have a couple other books in here specter inspectors issue four are you a specter inspector this one is four dollars not buying it and then let's see, it does have a couple of variants. So let's see what, what we got. There's your cover B. There's a dude stuck in a well, all right? And then we have the many deaths of Lila Star. This is the third printing of this. So any of you guys reading this out there, let me know in the comments below. And there's your Boom Studio books for the week. All right, so now we're moving on to Image Comics. There's quite a few books that are coming out with them for this particular comic book week. And this is a sender. This is issue 15. I've never read a single issue of this. What do you guys think of a sender? This is written by Jeff Lemire. He has written so many great books as of late. And uh, I just missed the boat on this one. So next we move on to Bitter Root. This is issue 13. This is, seems to be a pretty popular book. Um, issue number one is kind of on a spec list uh, from this particular week. This is written by Chuck Brown, and this is titled Legacy Part 3. It does have a variant, but it's not available to show. And then next we move on to Ha Ha, this is issue five. <laughs> is this a grandma clown? Like she's pushing one of those old carts from the grocery store. This is about like some old lady that was a clown. <laughs> ha ha has been awesome, man. I've really enjoyed this book of sad stories, you know, of people that are clowns and bad things have happened to them. That sounds a little dark, doesn't it? It does have quite a few variants, so let's check them out. We got, oh my God, what's happening there? That's creepy. Wow, that's intense. Okay, and then we got this cover B. Oh yeah, look at grandma, she's juggling. Juggling some ice cream cones and cheesecake. And then we have a Ivan Towel variant B. Very colorful, right? Here's the next one. Wow, that's creepy. Man, if you ever had a fear of clowns, or if you haven't had a fear of clowns, this book might actually give you that. Look at these ones. Oh my God, what is happening there? And then we have Tiffany Groves variant. Yep, there she is. There's that head in there, in that little basket. I can't wait to read this one. Let's check out this one right here. Yeah, creepy clown with fucking blue hair. Wow, that's insane. All right, so let's move on to Hem Gray Castle. This is issue two. I think the first issue did pretty well. I think it was pretty popular. It's hard to find. I did not pick this one up. It's a $5 comic written by Henry Barraz. And it does have a variance cover. Cover B. Pretty cool. He's just sitting there chilling. All right. And then we have Philadelphia issue 13. I don't know. I just couldn't get into Philadelphia myself. I did read the first couple issues. I, it's just not, I think it's acquired taste. It's just not for me. Um, Rodney Barnes is the writer. I heard it's been doing really well. But again, just a book not for me. So let's check out your 
cover B. That's a beautiful cover. I love that that style of art right there and those car and those colors. That's really nice. Then we have Made in Korea. This is issue one. That's a little creepy. Yeah, that's creepy. And then we have Monstrous issue thirty four. No. This book is a really well-written book. It just has too many layers for me. It goes over my head, but it is a wonderful written book. And uh, the artwork, cover art, everything about the art is a beautiful book. You might want to check that out, but start at the beginning. Shadecraft issue 34. Well, that's not going to pop up now, is it? Yeah, because it's showing a cover B, not the main cover. So you have Shadecraft coming out, which is good. Then we have Spawn, issue 318. So we're going to want to read Spawn because after this, it leads into the Spawn universe, guys. So definitely check this out. $2.99, you can't go wrong with it. If you ever had any type of interest in Spawn, you might want to read that one. Let's see your variants here. So we have 318 cover. That's pretty cool. And then I think if you want the black and white, we have a black and white one as well. So that's pretty nice also. All right, next. Department of Truth issue nine. This is a really hot book. Obviously it's written by James Tynion IV. And um, same thing, like, I think it's a well-written book. It's just not for me. I think I have the first five issues of it, and I kind of fell off of it. Uh, but the most important thing is I got that first issue uh, when that thing becomes a show. It does have 29 variants. I'm not going to show you every variant. It's going to take forever, but I'll show you a couple of them. Here is a mystery exclusive limited to 500 virgin variant. That is a nice looking cover right there. Really cool. Okay, so we got that one. And then let's check out this one right here. This cover C. That's odd. <laughs> oh boy. And let's check out let's check out the woman in the red dress right here. Here she's at like on a brick wall. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, let's see. That's another one. Oh, it's this one right here. I like the woman in the red dress. She what is she what is she on? Like God, she's so creepy. Oh, check out this cover right here. Limited to five. Wow. That is... Wow, man. That is creepy intense right there. You know, here's another one of those. Let's... Eating the baby covers. Yep. God, that's just so disturbing. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is just creepy as all, man. There's something wrong with that. Yep, and then let's check out this one right here and then we'll move on. No, that one's not. Oh my god, these covers are sick. Oh gosh, let's go on. Let's move on. Look at all these. Oh, oh we're gonna look at this one though. I like that one. Putting on the lipstick all creepy like, and then she's got this makeup dripping from her eyes. She's a creepy character. And there is all your Department of Truth. My gosh, there's so many of them. All right, so let's talk about the goddamn Virgin Brides issue five. There's that cover there. This one's written by Jason Aaron. What do you guys think of Heroes Are Born right now? There's the Old Guard through time issue two. It's got a couple variants if you want to check that one out. That's pretty nice. It's a nice looking cover there. And then we have cover C. Oh, that's cool where they're battling and they're in war. That's nice. We got two moons issue four. I missed out on issue one. I don't think this is, it's acquired taste. It's not for me. So we got two moons. It does have a variant. Let's check out the variant. We got cover B. Okay. And then Stray Dogs issue three, the second printing. Oh man, this, oh, this, this tears my heart out, man, because this scene in this, at the end of this book, oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I hate reliving that scene in this issue. Oh, Stray Dogs, such a sad book. 
And that is it when it comes to your image titles, guys. On to the big two. So here we go. We're kicking it off with DC Comics, and this is Batman Catwoman issue five. What do you guys think of this series? Are you still reading it? Did you drop it? Did you find that it just wasn't worth your time? Story all over the place. Of course, it's Tom King. It's five dollars. Nice looking cover. Artwork is always great by Clay Man. You can't deny that, though. So there you have it for Batman and Catwoman issue five. Next you have Batman Superman. This is issue 18. Now, I heard Batman Superman has been really good as of late and people are telling me they actually pick it up. So again, leave me that comment below. Tell me what you guys think of Batman Superman. Is it worth the pickup? Should I start reading it and add another DC title to my pull list? So it does have a variant. Let's check out the variant cover. That's pretty cool. All right, and then let's go on to Batman Black and White. This is issue six. I don't like that cover. Dude, that is just too busy for me. I can't even make out what's going on there. It's raining. Is it behind bars? Like, what's going on there, right? We got a couple variants for that one. So we got this one, the Jason Fabic variant, which his artwork is beautiful. I love his art. This is a gorgeous cover. All right, and then we have the Yasmin Pure Tree variant, which this one is pretty good as well. All right, and then we have Detective Comics, issue 1036, getting ready to be released. Love the backup Huntress story at the end of this. This was so good, and Huntress is getting ready to make her return back into the series, trying to, I guess, solve the case when it comes to... Um, uh, Batman doing this murder against his, you know, neighbor or whatnot. So looking forward to this one. And then we do have a variant for this one. This one is the uh, cardstock variant. That's pretty cool. What is he? Quicksand? Looks awesome. All right. And then we have Harley Quinn. This is issue three. <laughs> Crazy facial expression. Not a fan of this book. Will not be picking it up. We have a couple of uh, variants, Harley variants. She's with a wrestler. Crazy facial expression there as well. And then we have this Greg Horn variant. That's a nice cover. That's a gorgeous cover. That looks just like Harley from the uh, from the movies, actually. All right, and then we're gonna move on to. Oh, it looks like she's got a card too, like a card one. So we got that. Then we move on to Mr. Miracle. This is the source of freedom. This is issue one. Pretty cover. Love that main cover. Love the colors. Really pop there. Not a fan of that one. I think Tom King writes this as well. Here's your cardstock variants. He's pulling the old magician act where he's going to have to escape from the chains. Oh, this one's done by Brandon Easton. I didn't even realize that. Sorry about that. All right, and then we move on to Robin issue two. Now this, the first issue was great. I said this on my most anticipated uh, comics list as this was on the list. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. My top 10 most anticipated comics of the week. I'll leave it at the end of this video. We have Flatline here who basically ripped the heart out of Damien. Gave a lot of people uh, Mortal Kombat feels on there. Joshua Williamson's the writer. Really looking forward to that. But uh, check out this variant cover when I show it to you. I think this one is really nice. That's pretty cool. Love the colors there. He's wrapping up his hands. They're all bloody. He's getting ready for some pretty badass battling. All right. And then we got the RWBY Justice League issue two. So if you guys are into that stuff, you can check that out. I'm not. No variant. Stargirl Spring Break Special. So if you guys are, you know, jonesing for some Stargirl, you're going to get one issue right here, and this is written by Jeff Johns. So it's a $6 comic book. Are you guys going to invest in Stargirl for just one book? Uh, there is a variant if you're interested. That's pretty nice looking cover too. Just to focus on the main character. 
Then we have Strange Adventures issue 10. I think this was the one written by Tom King. Yeah, that's the one I was getting confused with. Strange Adventures, same thing, not into it. I know some people have been digging it. This one is a $5 book. And then we also have a variant as well. So let's check that one out too. Pretty cool art style. It's like, again, it's like this painted style. Then we have Teen Titans Academy, which won't show up because the main cover is not on the site. But that book is getting ready to come out as it crosses over with Suicide Squad. Then we have the other history of the DC Universe. This is issue four. Beautiful cover art on there. It's done by the uh, black label. And the uh, variant cover is not there. Then we have Action Comics 1031. Warlord Rising Part 2, Midnighter Part 2. And then we have that. And that is your DC comic books, guys. Okay, so the granddaddy of them all for the week is Marvel Comics. Obviously, they're releasing the most comics like they always do between the most titles, most variants. And the first book we're going to be talking about is Aliens. This is issue three. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to be dropping off of Aliens. However, I do love this cover. Philip Kennedy Johnson is the writer. But uh, it's just not for me, man. I, I like Aliens for movies, but maybe for comics, it's just not my thing. And there's other things, obviously, that I think I might enjoy more. So we do have four variants for this one. And some of them look cool. Check out this Adam Kubert variant. That is phenomenal. So creepy. Love it. And then you have this uh, other variant here as you get to see a full picture of the alien. And then let's see, we have a variant B. So this one is going to have nothing but the creature. And then let's see, then we have the, the Philip Tan variant. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is the aliens looking right at you. And, uh, and that's that. And then next we move on to Better Ray Bill. This is issue three. I loved issues one and two. And we get to see Better Ray trying to get his weapon back. And I love this cover here as he's trying to like glue together Stormbreaker. But really he's trying to find a new weapon and he's going to like the depths of hell basically to, to get a weapon. Uh, I think this is a pretty decent story. Um, it is on part three if you want to jump into it and you're a fan of the character. Check out uh, parts one and two. They might be still on the rack there. All right, and then you have your variants as well. So, of course, it's not going to show you. Next, we have Black Panther issue 25. This is the wrap-up, right, of this. So, Legacies 197, final issue. It does have 10 variants in here. So, let's go through them quickly. So, here we have this one, which is interesting. And then you got this one here, which is pretty cool. Fantastic Four on the bottom, All right? Then you have Stormbreakers variant. Cool art design though, that's very creative. And then you have another Stormbreakers. Nice cover art, man, really good. This one just has Black Panther on there. That is pretty neat too. Basically just seeing the outline of him and his necklace. And then we have Momoko, Peach Momoko. That's cool, I really like that, that is so different. Wow, that's, and it's like three-dimensional. Like, I would love to have that that cover art right there. Then you have um, Carlos Pacheco. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the Sylvia with the different colors. So that's nice, too. And then we have the Sprat variant. That's awesome as he's on his throne. Really cool looking covers here. And then we have this Stealth Freeze variant. So some gorgeous covers when it comes to Black Panther 25. Will you guys be picking it up? All right, Black Widow issue seven is being released as well. Awesome series, the first trade is out. I say pick that up, read that, then jump onto this. This is a must read guys. Black Widow is so under the radar, it's ridiculous. Kelly Thompson, is doing her best work when it comes to Black Widow. 
Next, Heroes Reborn issue four, probably the event that no one expected to be good. And uh, I'm having, you know, I, I'm enjoying it. It just reminds me of a simpler time with comic books where you open it up, you just have fun with it. There's lots of action, bright, vibrant colors, crazy looking characters. I'm on board with it for sure. Here we have four variants. Let's see what it shows. You got the one in 50. That's a nice looking cover. All right? Then you got the trading card. I love these ones, man. They're so nice. And then you got the Stormbreakers. So we got that one. Hyperion doing battle against Captain Marvel. His eye beams are everywhere. That's really cool. And then you got the action figure variant with Dr. Spectrum. And then you have Heroes Reborn Magneto in the Mutant Force. Now, I'm not doing these. I'm not doing these um, tie-ins. I'm getting very limited. I got the Shutterbug one, which actually was a phenomenal book. And then I'm getting the the Gwen, the Spider Gwen one, where she's like Bat Girl. That's it. And I'm sticking to that, obviously. Like I'm not going to be sucked into all those different ones. So let's see what we got. And then we got Heroes Reborn Siege Society. See, there's like a ton of them for this particular week, and I'm just not going there. Five dollars for that tie-in. Not doing it. Is there a variance there? There is a variance. So if you're into that. That's a nice looking variant though. Let's see. And then we got Young Squadron, which it's not gonna show. Let's check out Maestro War Impacts issue five. Let's move on to that. This is the conclusion to this series. $4, Peter David's the writer. I definitely say read this series if you haven't checked it out. Read the first trade to see the rise of power of Maestro and then War of Pax is him just basically trying to take over the entire world. So good, worth the $4, definitely is. No variant cover to show. All right, then we have Miles Morales, Spider-Man issue 26, the Clone Saga continues. So we have Miles Morales who was basically captured in previous issues and supposedly it seems like they rescued him but he's been keeping diary logs and all kinds of things he's been having anger issues what if miles morales has is the actual clone that is out there and the real miles is still captured and they cloned miles a thousand times and that's why you get to see all these different crazy miles morales spider mans <laughs> yeah Right? It's playing tribute to that original one. Seven variants for this. Let's see what's available to show. Uh, we got this one right here. And that's the Predator one, which is not available as of right now until further time. Then we got this Rose Besh variant with Spider going on there. I like that cover. That's a nice cover. So if you like that one and you don't like any logos on there, it's your virgin. So I love the facial expression there. And then you got a duplicate one with Miles on there. Also texting back and forth. Oh, I love you, Gwen. And then you got this one here. So you got that too. And then you got this uh, Scon Skrwang variant. That's a nice looking cover. That's pretty cool. And then you got New Mutants getting ready to come out. Everything that comes out with the Mutants, we're getting ready to hit the gala in June. So this is the last issue before that. I am not reading New Mutants. I will not be reading New Mutants except for possibly the gala. I am on board. Next is my hot seat book for the week and that's Reptil. Uh, this is issue one, $4 book. I don't know, man. I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> we'll see what happens. He's a young Avenger. Haven't seen him in years. Why they wanna bring him back now, I don't know. All right, next we go on to Star, Star Wars Darth Vader issue 12. We're continuing the tie-ins when it comes to the War of the Bounty Hunters prelude. Looking forward to this overall event. We'll see what Darth Vader has to offer here. There is a variant and we do have it not available to show. Next we move on to Dr. Aphra. And so this is the event for the summer where I've really dedicated myself to because I think this is going to be a really good one. So Dr. Aphra, Prelude as well. So we got that one. Then we have the Marvels issue two. 
I don't think I read Marvel's issue one. However, the covers look pretty cool. And then let's see, we do have three variants for that. They're all available to show. One in 25 incentive. Oh, that's a nice cover of a Black Cat and Punisher. And then we have the Alan Claw variant A, which is another nice cover with them playing pool. Wow, that's cool. That's different. And then we have the variant B, which obviously you're just going to see everybody on there with no logo on there. That's awesome. And it's very fitting how Bullseye is the one playing pool there, right? That's awesome. All right, X-Men issue 20 is the next one. It's the return of Nimrod. How does this story progress? Like the last two issues were a little bit underwhelming. How is Nimrod returning uh, on Krakoa or I, I don't know. So we'll see what Jonathan Hickman has to offer. He's coming to the end of his run here. So we'll see. This does have four variants. This variant is my favorite though. We have Mystique photo printing herself as all different characters. It is hilarious. It's like throwing all the people under the bus at the Marvel Studios. That is probably gonna be one of my covers of the week for next week. That is so cool. And then you have your In Huck Lee variant. That's awesome. Is he busting through a Sentinel? Yeah, he is. That's cool. All right, so now next we move forward to Spider-Man, Spider-Shadow, issue one, the second printing, if you're into that. Uh, nice looking cover there. Great series overall. Then we have Demon Days X-Men, issue one, third printing, the Peach Momoko variant. That's an interesting cover. Peach Momoko has great art, but this one's just not for me. And then we have Demon Days X-Men, issue one, third printing, ratio variant. That one's a little bit better. All right, guys, and there are your Marvel Comics for May 26th, 2021. All right, Webhead, so there you have it. There are all the comics getting ready to be released for May 26th, 2021. So now you got your list, and so now it's time to get ready to buy those comics. So as always, guys, if you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell, and I'll leave you more content right here to check out. In fact, I'll leave you my top 10 most anticipated based off all these comic books that are coming out. And until next time, guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off, and enjoy those comics, guys.